In this webisode, eeny weeny whiny woe, which direction will Bitcoin go? Wow, for the fourth day in a row, Bitcoin has found support on its 21 day moving average, now trading in between that and its 50 day moving average. But what is to come for Bitcoin's price? Is it possible that we see a run for Bitcoin over this weekend as traditional stocks are closed and the correlation for the next 36 hours? potentially will not be. And as well, Bitcoin has actually set a new high since the drop that we saw the very beginning of this month, September guys, breaking that previous high of about 11,098 or 11,100 even, going all the way up to about 11,000, almost $200 per Bitcoin. However, our very, very, very key level of resistance is slightly right above us. We're gonna show you what that is and what we're expecting in the short term for Bitcoin's price. And as well, some of these altcoins have actually gotten extremely close to our targets, guys. For example, Chainlink, we had a target of about $9. And so far, we've come all the way down to about $9.70. But will this continue? Are alts done bleeding? Will Bitcoin have a resurgence? And what is to come over the next week? And as well, with all of the hype in the DeFi market and the altcoin market specifically over the last few months, is it now time for profits to be cycling back into Bitcoin? Yabba dabba do, I can feel the goo. Wow, welcome back gurus, gushers, and goombas. We have a lot to talk about in today's extremely exciting webisode for Bitcoin, guys, as we are just continuously inching and creeping up to these key levels. We're gonna be talking about Bitcoin's price. We're gonna be talking about some altcoins as well. And specifically, is this really the beginning of a bull market for Bitcoin? Because there's something specific that happens, guys. We talk about it all the time. And what we'll see in the comments is something along the lines of why are altcoins dumping guys this is something we see over and over and over again so we're going to be diving in to what that means over the next few days milky mommies guys so if you're new to the channel make sure to turn on subscribe so you can get updated when we upload new content like this guys and as well if you're new to the channel make sure to drop your comments on what your prediction is for bitcoin and as well for uniswap guys because again we've had a lot of people who took advantage of that uh, for everybody that's been following my channel for a while i have been on the uniswap train uh much prior to september 1st which is what re was required in order to get that airdrop uh so if you did get that airdrop let me know what you're doing okay are you holding it did you already sell it are you waiting for massive gains did you trade it into something else what in tar nation did you do with your free crypto wow guys so we can start off here on this four hour chart for bitcoin still some very key levels actually happening right now this is very huge for one let's just highlight this we said this isn't very important at this point okay we still have the gap slightly below us but guys this is huge so this seven year support line is something we've talked about over and over and over again for the past year and a half right this blue line absolutely huge now we're coming up to that again to break above that we would need to actually get above 11,300 basically to the very tippy top of 11,400 right and as well on this four hour chart we'd have to get above this 200 uh, moving average right here where you can see right now we're actually testing this for support right we broke slightly above it and now we're kind of just hanging out right here so very key thing to notice here uh, as i said you know for the last few days this particular resistance level has not changed 11,300 is the area we've been talking about ever since back here right so we're coming up close to it this is the key decisive moment in the short term for a very nice bullish return uh, to volatility here now on the daily chart we're back above the 21 day moving average in between the 21 and the 50 day this is absolutely key in my opinion so we've spent the last three days actually wicking right down to this 21 day moving average uh, and so far this is actually showing some strength but we want to see this continue guys uh, even if we go to this weekly chart as we're going to be getting a weekly close in less than 36 hours from now okay another weekly candle close in less than 36 hours if it shapes up to be anywhere around the same price target that we have it at right now, so anywhere above like 11,000, this is actually looking like a pretty uh, significant and bullish reversal uh, for the entire Bitcoin market, right? So two weeks ago, we had that pretty big dump from getting rejected off 12,000 again, all the way down to about 9,900, even 9,800, right? And then we spent this week basically doing nothing. You can see this very eensy, bincy, teensy, weensy little weekly candle right here. They trade in between 10,006 and 9,008. So an $800 trading range for an entire week, right? Now this week, we already have substantially more than that, over a thousand 
in trading range. But as you can see, both of those wicked at this 21 week and we have not even come down to this 21 week at all in this uh, weekly candle so far. So we wanna see that continue and if it does, I think it looks very promising for the coming week in terms of more upward momentum, guys. But if we just take a look at this even more simplistically here, guys, this is, I mean, come on, this is huge. So many people draw this differently, but the way I have this drawn in this weekly is this. We broke slightly above this and struggled to really get an actual breakout for weeks and weeks and weeks. When we finally did, uh, we went all the way up to about 12.5, and we haven't even pulled back to the top of this triangle, which is even more bullish in my opinion, right? The top of it would be actually right around where the 50 week moving average is, right around that like 84 to $8,500 area. But we have maintained, and this is why this weekly is so important, we've maintained this key area for uh, within the next 36 hours. Once it closes there, it will be three weeks that we maintained this 21 week moving average. Okay, so very bullish. Most importantly, as I've been saying, this RSI, we got a bounce exactly where the previous bull market did get those bounces for weeks. Actually, sorry, for two and a half years is where this got bounces in the bull market. So again, this is a very key level uh, to get a bounce and we've gotten that bounce right around the 53 on the RSI there. And as well, this is good because again, we've set a higher high as opposed to setting more lower highs. As you can see here, guys, we've been in this pattern, this is on the hourly chart, where we were just setting uh, higher lows, okay? Higher low after higher low. And for the most part, actually, we've been setting higher highs as well. So normally that kind of structure is this some sort of potentially, you know, ascending channel where we have something, you know, similar to this uh, and it could actually break down. That is something we're watching for as well, but we don't really see the signs for it just yet. So far, this is actually looking kind of bullish. And again, this is the one hour chart, so it's even less significant. Uh, than this daily or especially this weekly chart. But guys, obviously stocks are closed the weekend, but we do we do really need to keep an eye on the S&P. And we were talking about this last Sunday. Okay, it's Saturday now, but last Sunday we were talking about this, how crucial this opening would be. And we even said back here on the 16th, you know, I'm really curious to see if we're gonna come down to that 50 week or that 50 day moving average. Not only did we, we actually plummeted through that 50 day moving average, guys. So holding the 50 day moving average would have had us about 33.45. Uh, we actually went all the way down to about 32.89. So um, just looking at this chart, this is the S&P, just looking at this right now, it'll be extremely interesting to see what Monday brings because this does not look good. And if this thing absolutely plummets, let's say we come down to our next support level about 32.86, let's say we break that and we come down to our next level about 32.30, I mean, where are we gonna find support ultimately for this market, okay? Everyone knows this is somewhat of a, I mean, it's basically an exact V-shape recovery, right? As everyone was talking about. Okay, an exact V-shape recovery, what is next, right? We set a higher high, we set an all-time high for the SPX. Is this thing gonna just keep going up or in fact, are we destined for a crash? And if so, will that affect Bitcoin? Guys, and actually something very bullish shaping up for Ethereum as we have actually tried to get back above now our 50 day moving average. Now this is gonna be key because we had this bearish cross a few days ago with the 21 going below the 50. You see that here, very similar to what happened on Bitcoin's chart, exactly like this, right? But uh, right now we're trying to get back above this. This could end up being a fake out and we could see this cross over again very quickly, reverse that entire thing. And we wanna be watching Ethereum, okay? Ethereum has been almost just as important as watching Bitcoin lately, to be honest. Okay, Ethereum has been huge uh, in terms of price action and in terms of influence in the entire market, right? Um, so we're gonna be watching Ethereum and that leads me into my next point, but before we do it, let's just finish off the TA for these alts here. Uh, a lot of people asking about Link and guys, we talked about a target of $9 a few days ago and we're actually inching up close to that target. I think that'll be a very good bounce area for Link, uh, especially if this market turns around, but I think $9 is gonna be pretty strong support for Link right around this range right here. And guys, if you're interested in trying to trade these moves, make sure to sign up with the links below where we have some of the highest bonuses on YouTube, trading fee reductions, uh, and a lot of great stuff. So make sure if you wanna support the channel and you have experience trading to sign up with those links below. And guys, I just wanted to cover this portion of this article, new Bitcoin bull run, whales and institutions accumulating data shows. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom here, what is next in the, in the near term? So this sentence particularly is very important. In the recent months, DeFi has outperformed major cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Following the strong performances of these tokens, though, investors might be cycling the profits back to Bitcoin and stablecoins. A quote here, sold all ETH and alts over the last week, rotated into Bitcoin and fiat. Almost everyone is criminally underexposed to Bitcoin and criminally overexposed to DeFi when everyone is on one side of the ship. I mean, guys, what do you think that could potentially mean? 
if essentially everybody is investing in these alts and everybody's very focused on these alts and these DeFi sector and everybody is underexposed to Bitcoin right now, what could that mean, right? A Bitcoin rally could be more likely, especially we want to keep an eye on the dominance of Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin dominance has been decreasing, as you can even see by this chart going all the way up to today, September 19th. Um, and usually what we see, guys, a lot of people will ask, why are altcoins dumping or why are they pumping when Bitcoin is doing the opposite of that? Guys, usually if Bitcoin goes on an actual organic run, okay, to break some very key levels and structure on these charts, we see altcoins take a little bit of a tumble. We see them take a little bit of a dip because a lot of that dominance flows back into Bitcoin, right? For the most part, there's one fundamental thing that happens in trading when it comes to crypto. Uh, for the most part, people either focus on Bitcoin or have a lot of attention on alts. And it kind of does play this game where it shifts back and forth between alts and Bitcoin, right? That's a little oversimplified, but for the most part, that that's generally what happens. So uh, with this being the case, if altcoins are going to take a little bit of a cool down after ex being explosive the last like three or four months, this could be the perfect time for, for Bitcoin to gain momentum and really rally. Because guys, as we've been saying, Bitcoin has been pretty boring, to be honest. Uh, ever since the March drop, Bitcoin has gone up, but it's been very slow. The pace has been kind of boring, right? So much more excitement has been in these altcoins. Everybody would agree with that statement that altcoins have been much more exciting. Even if you're not invested in altcoins, their price action objectively has been more exciting over the past few months. But now, on this macro time frame, is this absolutely the time that Bitcoin is ready to get its dominance and surge us, break 14K ultimately, and then lead us into new all-time highs, guys? I definitely think that is very likely and what we're going to be seeing over the next few months at most. Wow, guys, so make sure to drop your comment to enter for these ledgers. And as well, if you're interested in trading, make sure to sign up for the links below if you have experience and if you want to support the channel. And include in your comment what you think Bitcoin's next move is. Do you think Bitcoin dominance is going to ramp up here over the next few weeks and take us above 14,000 and even 20,000 US dollars?